been gone so long from my YouTube channel. As you can see, um, a lot of crazy stuff happens here in Thailand. And uh, this is our second flood this year of the rainy season. Um, the first one totally decimated my part of town, but thankfully, knock on whatever, there's no wood around unless it's floating by. A knock on wood, it's not going to hit my place again, but right now it's hit all of Chiang Mai. It's completely decimated. Um, right now, I'm not standing in the wake of water that's in a road. I'm standing in the wake of the Ping River moving into the city. If I move my camera just to the, your left, uh, you're going to see the water rushing around the corner here uh, at the corner of Prince Royals on Khao Narawat Road. Um, this is one of the most busy intersections in the whole city. So. This being shut down, you can imagine what the rest of the city is going to be like, and I'll have some video for that later. Check out this current. The water's just rushing around the corner. We're going to go further into town. As you can see, they put up barriers, and uh, well, nobody's going to pay attention to those. Those are just kind of like a general warning. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to drive straight down into the city. I'm going to try to get the camera set up on the sidecar, but I don't know if it's going to work. But uh, wish me luck. We'll see you soon. Okay, so now we're going to go for a ride in this river up until uh, we get to the Ping River. I have a doubt we're going to be able to cross the river at all there, but we're going to give it a try. Obviously, I have to move very slow due to the camera equipment, but as you can see, the water is almost inundating every shop along this road. this was one of the busiest roads and intersections in the city and uh, that in fact is no lie and a testament to that is the continued traffic that still needs to use it. There are not a lot of roadways in Thailand. Well, there's plenty of roadways but I guess I would say the infrastructure is not um, it's, it's not at the level of which can substantiate the amount of vehicles that are actually being used. And as you can see down here, the water is fully inundating that entire um, area over there. And I'd say we're about a kilometer from the Ping River right now. And if I were to guess, I'd say this is about nine inches of water on the road. I mean, I'm getting entirely soaked here. Testament to the uneven nature of um, the uneven, uneven nature of how the roads are built around here. <laughs> I guess um, I guess we're gonna head back into it here. It seems. incredibly cold and I don't know what that is because it's very hot here and water doesn't really it's you know room temperature for Thailand outdoors is not cool you know it's a warm water so I don't know if this is all just from current runoff coming down from the mountains and it's all just cold water or I don't know there's some monks They're always so relaxed. This is it. They're just having a fun day out there while everyone's working. That's okay though. That's cool, man. That's cool. Oh wow, we can actually get over the river. Well, this will be 
interesting. Now we're going to go over the Bing River. I'm not even sure if you can still hear me anymore with me being on the motorbike, but we're going to cross the river here, and um, I'll park around the corner if I can, and uh, we'll walk up top and have a good look. Later I'm going to take you down to the night market. Now the night market is where two of my good friends, they, um, they own a bar down there, and they called me today and they told me it's completely inundated, just totally lost. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right there to the right, there's like a two-story two staircase going down into the water usually. Oh my god. That is insane. That is insane. There's tidal pools and everything in that water. We're going to stop and check it out. See, traditionally, this little area right here are steps walking down to the river that's about two stories below the water there, generally. That is dangerously high. Dangerously high. Like, I know what this place looks like when it's not at high water, and that is dangerously high. Like, you should be able to see full-on, full-on... Uh, pylons from the from the from the bridge there and they're just not there right now I don't know I mean this is pretty extreme and I would say from the devastation that I've heard already exists and what I see happening uh, there may come a time for international you know you know help here because this is not normal let's go out and take a look at some of the riptides that are happening Yeah, I think it's safe to say that if you fell in right here, um, you're not going to come up for at least another two bridges. That's intense. It's doubled in width. Well, no, I'd say it's added about one-third of its approximate width to the total now, and it's pretty big. It's pretty big. All right, we got a treat coming. Just keep watching the water. Just keep watching the water. We got a treat coming. A really good treat. This will, this will show you the extent of damage that's happening. It's coming. Have no worries. I don't know where it's coming out, but it's coming. There's a big tree coming sometime. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, things, I mean, that was probably a piece of someone's home. And now it's just completely ripped off the foundation and, and dragged down the river. Like I'm sure so many people's lives are right now, upriver. And in the mountains, we've also got to worry about landslides. So let's just hope for everyone's sake that minimal life uh, loss is at at the best it gets, you know, because I'm sure that's not the most amazing thing that we saw float down the river today. So let's go back into the market and see what's going on there. Because like I said, my friend stated that it was completely underwater, like three feet of water. And that's down river where we're going, so you'll have to see. Hopefully the flower market's okay. I'm going to try to keep this rolling during the whole walk so that you can, I mean the whole drive, so that you can kind of see what's going on.